Can I tell you the closest <laughs> I got to going to a Super Bowl? How close was that? I was in Buffalo, New York. Mm. I was doing, uh, what was I doing back then? Overnights slash mornings. I was helping the morning yeah. guys out a little bit. And uh, I got involved with a promotion. Did I ever tell you this one? Oh, no. <laughs> you know how Buffalo, it's really cold in the winter. Well, how cold? Oh, yeah. And uh, I would say it was almost bit. single digits or low teens mm. for this particular Super Bowl. I don't remember who they were teens. playing because I was up there for three out of the four. And uh, we were broadcasting from a bar. Nice, right? This is the closest sure I got. Sure is. And uh, we got a uh, a hot tub that we put outside the bar. Oh, boy. And every time the Bills scored, we all had a jump in the hot tub. Oh. Whoa. But there was local TV. Hey, of course there was. And uh, covering this game. <laughs> oh, boy. Wait till you hear this story. And there are rumors that... You know the uh, the the national coverage was going. Oh, that was coming. Was going to pick up on it? Oh. Did they? I don't know. To be honest with you, I, I don't know the answer to that. I bet. Because we were told they were going to like go to the the hot tub if the Bills scored to uh, see yeah. us all jumping in like <laughs> idiots in the freezing cold weather. <laughs> but that was the closest I got to a Super Bowl broadcast, and that's that pretty good. Fun. That's pretty good, right? Well, yeah. you weren't near the Super Bowl, though. But that's the closest. That's the problem. <laughs> I was broadcasting for one of the teams that was in it. Now, see, you need we to had be... a Super Bowl party, and we had a, a wacky event. You need to be near the Super Bowl. <clears throat> you can't just... Uh, yeah. I'm just telling you. That's I would think. That, that's the closest I got. Yeah. After many, many years of broadcasting. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's, one of those, it's one of those promotions, you do it, and then you, you sit there in the hot tub going, now what? We look like idiots. <laughs> Remember the event we used to do in uh, Boston with the uh, the pool for oh. St. Patty's Day? Oh, with the green fucking... <laughs> oh, God. Everything's, oh, look, it's green. It's St. Patty's Day. This is crazy. I guess, what was the broadcast? Oh. There were shamrocks at the bottom of this, like... Right. It was a pretty impressive pool. It was oh. one of those above ground yeah, pools I'm... that you kind of see in a lot of people's backyards. Yeah, and... they're inflatable, so they're a little and... bigger than just a kiddie pool. St. Paddy's Day, still cold in the Boston area. Mm -hmm. You get a bunch of shamrocks. Aye. You get the 10th caller for about three and a half weeks straight. <laughs> Wonderful. They come down to the live broadcast, and, and they get the opportunity to jump into the freezing cold pool. Fantastic. And grab a shamrock with a number on it, which, which um, gives you a prize. Ah, yes. And one of the shamrocks was worth a lot of money or or a big prize. I don't a remember. big prize like the fucking Mustang? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could you find that could you find that news piece? Uh, but just to finish this up, remember they were like, Well, it's St. Patty's Day, we gotta get the, the pool water green. Yeah, yeah, because St. Patty's Day everything's gonna be green. Uh, they they obsessed about trying to get the water green and they you just can't. You can't get that much water green. No. So it was, it was barely, barely a green. Tinge of green, right? Didn't even fit. It was horrible. But the the biggest one that we did up in Boston, we gave away. Was it a Mustang yet? Oh, I believe it was a classic Mustang. Why though? Why were we giving this away? Was it like I, I, it was one of those key things where you turn the key and if the car starts, right. they win it. What was it? Was it the one where they had to keep their hands on it? No. No, that was a different thing. They all got a key. It's a, they all got a key, right? It's a lame radio promotion that a million radio stations have done. You give away keys for th this promotion because it's a car. It takes like three or four months. Oh, yeah, it's a long, You get long a key that could start the car. You line up everybody, and one by one, they try their keys in the ignition, and the one that starts it. They get to drive away or, well. Well, the first problem was, <laughs> you know, as the radio station, you know which person has the key. Right. And that person stepped into the Mustang, turned the key, and the car did not start. Nothing. Meaning, holy fuck, this is the key that's supposed to start the car. And the whole Because <laughs> it was a clunker. Of, the whole gist of the excitement of these things is when the person gets in and you hear, you're like, right, right, right. started. Right, right. <laughs> Remember Dave Douglas? I remember this like it was yesterday. We were on uh, Afternoon Drive. They were teasing that there was going to be a massive contest announcement. Yeah. 
And right up to right up until 10, 15 minutes before we had to announce the big contest, we didn't have a contest. No. Because uh, uh, the person that was going to give us the car, I think, mm-hmm. fell through. So they had to scramble to find another one, hence the major problem that yeah. ensued. And then uh, Boston TV blamed me and you. Yep. Because it was our shift that was uh, picking the winner, finally, you know, having everyone line up with their keys. Yeah, so it was Opie and Anthony's phony fucking piece of shit car giveaway. Right, right. Not yeah, the station. It was yeah. more like Opie and Anthony sock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the lady sued uh, the radio station. <laughs> it's always great when you do a contest where the listener wins and sues the station. Because they were expecting a little more. Yeah. Yeah, it was supposed to be a, a it was classic that, Mustang. It was that sports bar right off Route 9. Yeah. Heading into Boston. I forgot the name of it. Yeah, the one with the, the satellite dish on the roof that you always saw when you drove by. Uh, yeah, it was a classic Mustang, uh, supposedly. And it was uh, refurbished. Right. All redone and everything. The, and that was how it was built, and it turned out to be uh, a dud, a, a lemon, a lemon, a thrown together last minute spray paint over the rust, <laughs> and and hope it starts, which it didn't. Uh, they literally had to tow it out of the parking lot. I think she had to. She had to tow it because we all left. Right. We're done with our broadcast, and she's just sitting in the standing in the parking lot with this. Mustang that piece of shit. Uh, when me and Opie are just like, well, our job here is done. <laughs> See you later. And we fucking bolted. I think we went inside and drank a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. And just like shook our heads again. And then uh, I think she had to get a tow truck. And then, oh, yeah. boy, did she get a lawyer. Yep. And I think they ended up having to pay handsomely. Yeah. I mean, they promised her a certain thing and didn't right. come through with it. No That's one has horrible. the news clip. The news clip is classic. It used to be up online. If anyone has it. Yes. Could you please yeah. send it to us so we could fucking howl with laughter? Fan- fantastic, man. So anyway, yeah. Did you see? Uh, um, did you see the Super Bowl commercials? Uh, yeah, I saw two of them. That uh, the two that count, I guess. I saw. Kind of smart marketing. Um, I, I think this is the first year. Maybe they did it last year because uh, social networking was pretty damn hot last year as well. Obviously. Yeah. Um, but they're releasing the the commercials before Sunday. Extended versions. I guess too. They, I guess they've been doing this for a couple of years now. They think about, yeah, but probably. Uh, but you release the commercial, you know, the week of the Super Bowl, you get everyone watching. Yeah. The one commercial instead of it, it being thrown in with the rest of them, the Matthew Broderick Ferris yeah. Bueller thing is rough, isn't it? That is just like he's being praised for this. Yeah, of course he is. By by the yes men and cronies and Hollywood people, but I think fans of Ferris Bueller's Day Off um, are looking at it as, oh my god, oh right. my god. Danny had a great tweet about it. What how is that? Everything you were in love with will turn out to be just shit on. And yeah, it was a great little tweet. I'm paraphrasing. Well, but uh, it definitely put the point across. The problem with this whole thing was, where's Cameron? Yeah, yeah. You need yeah. Cameron. You need Cameron. Well, in Matthew there. Broderick doesn't like Cameron anymore. Eh, I guess Cameron said, I ain't doing this shit. Oh, really? You think that's what happened? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a Super Bowl commercial, though. That's good exposure. Uh, yeah. Is it? Here, let it, it just kind of, I don't know, ruins the whole memory of the innocence of uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And and they're so, <laughs> they're so out of touch that. In, <laughs> they're so out of touch boop, that boop. Uh, it's the agent. Yeah. Met a Matthew Broderick? Yeah. Like, our, we would, who gives a fuck if our agent is mad at us? Yeah. So Matthew Broderick is hiding from his own agent? That's just dumb. It's a reverse of us, because I think our agent's hiding from us. Of course he I've is. been emailing him and, and texting him. He hasn't gotten back to me. Nah, he, he's... I don't know what that's all about. I don't know what it is either. I have to check my bank accounts, see if he took off to fucking Thailand or something. <laughs> but, uh... Boo, boo. Why can't they just make him, like, a, a working Joe? And yeah. he's hiding from his boss, yeah, not his agent. Be, well, they had to make it Matthew Broderick, so I don't know. Why it's, do they have to make it Matthew Broderick? Exa- Why I can't it just be the first Bueller guy growing up? And yeah. now he's got a shitty job like the, most of that us. That would have been good. He's not a fry cook on Venus. He ends up just with a shitty fucking job. Right. Yeah. So the concept where he's Matthew Broderick and he's hiding from his agent, first of all, that's just stupid. Yeah. Someone should have fucking spoke up in the meeting and said, this isn't going to work. That was dumb. The Seinfeld one I liked better. You like the Seinfeld one? Yeah, you yeah. You see the zip lines? Yeah. Who, who talked about zip lines zip on this lines very show? Zip lines through New Manhattan. I'm telling you, man, I think 
I think it's yeah. gonna take a little longer, but I'm I'm telling you, I think you're gonna see zip lines in Manhattan <laughs> eventually. I'm telling you. <laughs> That'd be horrific. Why? Like Spider Man in your way through the fucking well, streets and shit. Well that's why it's gonna take a while. They gotta figure out how to make it extremely safe. But you wanna talk about tourist dollars. Good luck. Well, wouldn't you zip line through Manhattan if you could? From building to building I like I that? Huh? That would be fun. Fuck yeah! And Seinfeld uh, visits that visits that very concept in his it commercial. Certainly does. His is a little. Um, his is a little better, but still, I, I I don't like those when they you know he slipped in the soup Nazi. Yeah, uh, it was kind of like ah, yeah, yeah, leave those leave those precious characters alone. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, here's Matthew Broderick. I don't know if it's going to play well uh, on the radio. But... Didn't play well on the video. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. well, I'm not sure what it is. I guess I'll be okay. I'm calling the studio, Matthew. You're not shooting today. No. People are depending on me. Movies bring so much joy. Stop. It's done. Just get some rest. Diva. He bought it. How can I handle work on a day like today? One of the worst performances of my career, and he never doubted it for a second. Hi, right, can I get my CRV brought up, please? I've got a lot to do today. Roderick. Roderick. You have excellent taste in automobiles. Hmm. Driving Life a CRV. Life is things you have to do. But sometimes you gotta live a little. Calm yourself, woman. He's playing at the fair. You sound awful. Sees his agent next to him in a car. Yeah, it's uh, you know some of the classic scenes from the movie, and it's been just you know bastardized for. It's all right, but I mean they're praising it like, oh my god, this is going to just play so well Sunday. I don't. People are going to love this. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't like it. And why is he in the museum staring at the walrus? And that was a scene in the. Yeah, the I know, but first it was with it was with Cameron, right? With Cameron and the, the Monet, I think. Right? Yeah, where's Cameron? That's yeah. what, that's what I kept saying the whole time. I think Monet was nearsighted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, are, are we at the point where we just hate everything? Yes. You think? Yes. Thank well, why God. Why is it's that? It's so freeing because we're jaded and fucking cynical and. We've just been shit on so much, and they're pouring shit out to people, and, and people embrace it, and, and we're the, the few that look and go, no, no, that stinks. We're so in the minority. I think ma the majority of the people will be just lapping up this, uh, this first Bueller commercial. Because they don't look they at the original movie like, like you get in-depth and, and really uh, become, it becomes part of your, your uh, upbringing. Yeah. yeah. First Bueller Being a child movie. of the 80s, you know. Child of the '80s, right here too, eh? Mm -hmm. Me and you, brother. Sure. Children of the '80s. You know, you know what else? And I, I tweeted this uh, last night. I, I am livid, pissed at a commercial. It's for a J.C. Penny. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know because I, because of this commercial, and I, I haven't been to a J.C. Penny, mm -hmm. but I, I won't, I will not go to a J.C. Penny because of this commercial. You wouldn't, you wouldn't go before you saw the commercial. Exactly. I don't even know what they sell at J.C. Penny. I, I don't know either. I don't care. Is it like a, is that like a like a Macy's? Yeah, yes. something like that. All right. It's a montage of people going to their mailboxes, opening envelopes, and getting coupons. Yeah. With sales on them and everything like that, and it's all them screaming. Ah! 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 Screaming, and it's probably the most annoying commercial I've ever seen. Uh, especially if you're a guy like me that likes to sleep with the TV on, you keep it a little low. Yeah. That comes on very loud, and it, it's horrifying. It's it's like chalk. It's like your nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> annoying. So fucking annoying. So it wakes you up in the middle of the night. It wakes you up, and even when you're up just watching a show, I can't. I, I wince. My head turns. I'm like, stop it. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. I don't know if I've seen this yet. Well, crank it up. You'll hate it. This isn't even the worst one. Why are they screaming? I guess they're going to tell us at the end of the spot. No. They don't even tell you? No. Enough is enough. 
What does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? It means they've come up with the most annoying fucking commercial ever. But they give and, you, and I can't take it. They give you a date, so they're going to tell you on that date, I guess. Their thing, I believe that their thing is that they're eliminating coupons and sales, and they're going to make their prices always low. Oh, really? That's what? The oh, they, what kind of a fucking? What happened? What kind of a fucking uh, a carny move is that? What happened then? Stop it! That's Fuck. right. They're screaming no, no, no at the sales and the twenty-five percent. Right. The coupons and the... Well, you know what? That screaming is fucking infuriating. <laughs> and. Yeah. Kevin from uh, Connecticut. It's uh, Kevin from C O N N on Twitter. Oh, yeah. One I word. See his call there. I he see fucking it. rules. He, he found the uh, the link. The link to the Mustang store. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin. Good move. Uh, hold on. Uh, hey, Kevin. Good morning, guys. Where'd you find it? Because we couldn't find it on YouTube anymore. I just typed in O N A Mustang lawsuit. <laughs> uh, lawsuit. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Stay on the line for a second. Right. Oh, boy. Opie and Anthony, old school O&A, oh, classic man. Mustang. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Yes. Liquid. WCBB TV Boston. <laughs> oh, no. Now, this is New City. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Coverage you can count on watching these. Still to come, a winning prize or a losing lemon. Susan Warren expire. Beware report is next. <laughs> Pause that. The tease is great because they show the hood up, the, the trunk up, up. The trunk lids up, the doors are open. It looks like an abandoned car, which is pretty much what it was. But that's the news fucking, you know, oh. doing what they do, making the story even more sensational. Oh, it, what? I remember <laughs> I remember wincing when I heard that news music because I just knew we were going to get crucified but on this one. Why do they always blame us? Ah, because we were the faces to the contest. But we had nothing to do with this. Nothing. We really, you know, the, the station was doing the contest mm, and yeah. decided... You know, it would be good to give get it their, away on our day part. Get they, their they, boys out there, right? They're called day parts. Yeah. Back that up slightly there, Sam. Oh, my God. All right. God, Remember no. this bitch. Yeah. Fire beware. <laughs> We're part of some scam. <laughs> Tina Tucker was thrilled when she won a radio contest for a classic car. Radio station WAAF handed her the keys to a vintage Mustang. But when she took a closer look, she noted her prize belonged in the junk heap and not her driveway. <laughs> so who's responsible here? Susan Warnick with tonight's Buyer Beware. Buyer Beware. <laughs> Tina Tucker couldn't believe her luck last February when she held the winning key in WAAF's Sam Adams White Ale Mustang. <laughs> Poor <laughs> Sam Adams. Sam Adams again. again. Boy, what? of course he's never talking to us again. Boy, have we fucked over Jim Cook over the years. So, so he got fucked with this contest and still came back uh. for the big one. Hey, I hear you guys are giving away a toy Yoda. <laughs> yeah, it's a toy Yoda. Get it? Oh my God! Fuck you, assholes. This story. I, I, I'll. Well, Kevin from Con has it. Kevin from C O N N. If you want to go there now, and I'll, I'll, I'll retweet this as well. But, wow. But um, they have a picture of me and you in just horrible leather jackets. Oh, we look yeah. so sleazy. Oh, it just yeah. helps the story. It really does. I thought I looked cool in this dumb, long, black leather jacket. You look terrible. All right. Just shill, shills for the man. We look so just slimy. Adam's White Ale Mustang Contest. Huh. They gave me a key along with nine other people, and we all had a chance to try it. Mine started it. Oh, Tina won start. a 1967 <laughs> white Mustang. I knew it wasn't going to be like a 1998 Mustang. But I never expected it to be in this shape. Tina's prize had body rot, a bad paint job, ripped seats, and broken equipment. <laughs> and it wouldn't start. <laughs> it's a piece of junk. <laughs> they just show they they just showed the trunk. And the radio station was so lazy, they didn't even empty out the trunk. There was garbage in the trunk, there was <laughs> rust. And then the, the woman's shaking, that shaking sound, you heard the rattling, was her grabbing onto the front bumper and just shaking it. And it's going, clang, clang, clang. <laughs> this sucked. We even knew before before this woman even won and before anyone said a word, we went to Dave, remember, and said, yeah. this is a piece of yeah. shit. Yeah. We're giving away a piece of shit and we got to make it sound good. Yeah. And we've been bitching about managers and, and program yeah. directors ever since. 
Fast forward to today. It's We're not hilarious. going to the Super Bowl. No. They're all just a bunch of idiots in the end. I love this clip. I do, <laughs> too. I forgot all about great. this. It's bringing me right back. <laughs> She's so pissed off. Oh, it's a piece of junk. Right. Yes, it is. Congrats. <laughs> and once again, they show a picture of the Mustang, and everything is open. Yeah, yeah. The hood, the trunk, all the doors. It's better to show the garbage. All right. All right. It really is. Um, it's embarrassing. Oh, oh, oh. Very embarrassing. It Tina is. had the car towed to a repair shop where it's been virtually untouched since March because Tina says she couldn't get WAAF to fix it. <laughs> no, they have not been cooperative until um, this past weekend when you got in touch with them. They had no part of me. My stepfather got in contact with them. They were very rude to my father, and they have had nothing to do with me. They've washed their hands of me in this car for the past five months. We're very much a victim. Ah, of pause! Ah, Dave Douglas! Oh, I can't wait to... Oh, is he going to oh. try to... Is he going to try to smooth it out? I can't wait to retweet this. this you probably get to see great. stupid Dave Douglas with his 70s porn mustache. Oh, my God. Did he... He looked more like a retard than I remember. remember? Yeah, I haven't. Wow, I haven't seen a picture of him in years. Dave man. Douglas trying to what is he going to try to finagle his way out of this one? Opie Radio on Twitter. I'll fucking retweet the uh, Kevin from Connecticut thing. What a great you got to see clip this. this is. Where's uh, okay? All right, go back. I'm sorry. Oh, I love this. Go back. Let's let's listen intently. Look at his, look at his stupid haircut. He is an idiot. He, he cut his bangs all the way across. <laughs> He's way got too retard short. bangs. Wow to do with me. They've washed their hands of me in this car for the past five ah. months. We're very much a victim as is Tina here. <laughs> While they admit giving <laughs> Tina a seriously damaged car, WAF management says it's not their fault. They blame the people from whom they got the car. We trusted this organization to deliver the vehicle in good working order and they didn't do that. Boss. It's completely false. And Rich Marco runs. Now that we don't ah, have anything ah, to do with this ah, idiot. Ah, First of all, he's wearing a tie for the day because he finally gets on TV. He always wanted to be on TV. <laughs> Secondly, why wouldn't you check the car before they deliver it? Exactly. Why are you assuming they're just going to deliver a nice car for you? And when it's a piece of shit and you see it's a piece of shit, why are you then passing it on to someone else? He's the, like some. He's like a rapist going, right. hey, I'm as much of a victim here as this uh, young lady that I raped. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> what an idiot. I love this shit. All right, let's hear a little more. National Veterans Scholarship Fund. They resell donated cars for scholarship money and agreed to give WAAF the Mustang in exchange for free advertising. But Marco insists the car was given as is. It's basically, here's your car, um, and, and that's it. Now that the promo's over, they're coming back to me. In fact, WAAF has contacted the Attorney General's office Ooh. asking for an investigation of the National Veterans Scholarship Fund. <laughs> but they didn't do it until the very day we called asking about Tina's car. And the scholarship fund is in good standing with the Department of Public Charities. <laughs> Rich Marco says he's happy to talk to any investigator. Here we are trying to do something good. I haven't heard from AAF in months. And now, instead of calling me, they're calling the Attorney General. You know, that's fine. I mean, we've done nothing wrong. This afternoon, WAAF assumed full responsibility for the Mustang, promising to pay for its full refurbishing and delivery to Tina within a month. And even though they weren't directly involved in the car deal, Sam Adams Beer has vowed to make good if <laughs> WAAF doesn't. I'm Susan Morning. Jim Cook always mopping uh, up our problems. Yeah. <laughs> He's like the wolf. God, I miss that guy. He fucking loved us. Uh, I would love to know what happened to Tina. All right, let's not start sucking each other's dicks just yet, gentlemen. <laughs> 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 he was mortified. He's like, uh, he's basically sitting there going, holy shit, will you give this lady the money? What are like, you doing? You like Oak Opie. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what happened to Tina, Dave Douglas, and the fucking Mustang. How do we get that done? Yeah. How do we get that done? Wow, man. Ah, oh, I've what memories, Kevin? What a great find! That's fantastic. I'm retweeting your link uh, as we speak, but that's a, this is a must see.
I guess they didn't blame us uh, too much. They just showed us a lot in that piece. So pretty, please, with sugar on it. Fix the fucking Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting there like, what the fuck's wrong he with you be, He's got to be the wolf. He's like, look, it's a lousy $10,000 probably. <laughs> if you went to the lady and said, all right, here, can we give you $10,000 right. and call it even? Give her the cash. She would have said, fuck yeah. Absolutely. She would have said, yes, thank you very much. Yeah. And a, a, a typical radio station, just like fucking hiding and hoping, hoping the phone doesn't ring, hoping yeah. there's no TV cameras outside. It sat in a lot for five months after we gave it away. Sat in a lot, <laughs> rotting away more. Just rotting more. That That is a classic, classic and typical radio fucking promotion fuck up. Right. Oh, that is so and funny. And it's been going on ever since. Oh, yeah, yeah. And before Radio's that. Radio is the scum of entertainment. It really is. We've always known it. It's one step off of the carny boardwalk. Yep. Yep, yep. Oh, man, that was funny. God damn it, I forgot about that. <laughs> Holy shit. It's a shit. piece of junk. <laughs> yeah, she was like, it's a piece of junk. And Dave Douglas with a fucking tie on. Oh, she's choking with it. Uh, all right, let me fucking tweet this shit. Yeah, uh, you got to get that out there. <laughs> People will love seeing Dave Dickless. About, uh, Woo! Just now. Wow. What the hell is Where that? The face of a Dave Dickless. Huh? It's way putting the face to Dave Dickless after all these years. It is. You got you got you got a lot of our old stuff, don't you, Kev? A lot of it's out there. I don't have it per se. Yeah. I forgot all about the Mustang. I don't even know how it came up. It just we were just talking about shit. You got any other ones that we might have forgot about? We were uh, always uh, the, two hours of audio. The, Jesus. You know, I don't know if we've played in a while, but the WoW one is classic, too. Yeah, the WoW news story. With the fucking, um, with the news guy who had earrings in his ears. He was trying to, like, lull us into a false sense of security. Oh, he was laughing and loving uh, the whole promotion. We had naked girls in that us. day, and he was ba he was very close to oh, yeah. some activities. And then we're all excited because he came in uh, under the guise that he was doing a, a, a positive piece on Whip Him Out Wednesday. This is how stupid we were. Just a fun little piece, yeah. And uh, and then we called everyone. We're all excited. Yeah, it's going to be great. And holy fuck, they crucified us on the news. Uh, of course they did. He got his suit on. He took his earring out and got all serious. And right. Went, the law should shut this down. The <laughs> danger to people on the highway. Right. We're like, what about the fun guy that yeah. came in, was laughing and squeezing tits and having fun? It's like, wait a minute, we, 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 we were giving you naked lap dances yeah. up here two hours ago. Oh, uh, sex, uh, sexy has an update. Sexy. E Rock has an update on what the Mustang? Yeah, uh, on her. We found her number, oh. and I just gave her a call. Yeah. And I explained what we were talking about. She went no and hung up on me. Whoa! Whoa really? Whoa. Yeah. Why? Holding a grudge like that? Why? She She's not answering now. I don't know. So the contest... I asked her, I'm like, did you win this uh, white Mustang from WAF? 14 years ago! Yeah, and she said yes. I said, well, this is the Opie and Anthony show. We want to just touch base with you, see what happened to you in the Mustang. And she went no and hung up. And now she's not picking up. Wow, that was... Wow. Wow, she's still pissed. Hey, <laughs> lighten up, Francis. I forgot all about this. Yeah. She's still pissed. That's 98. That's 14 years ago. Coming up on 14 years ago. 14 fucking years. Lighten up and come on the air with us. Wow. Yeah, because you know they refurbished the thing and it was still a piece of shit. Tell her we're, we'll make good. Oh, my God. And we're going to give her... How much should we give her? We should give her a toy Yoda. <laughs> give her 100 grand. Or 100 grand. 100 grand. <laughs> All right, Kev. Uh, thank I'll you. I'll look for that wild story. Huh? I'll look for that wild oh. story. Oh. I don't know. Have we played in a while? I don't want to keep doing the same shit over and over again. But if we haven't played in a while, it might be worth it. That isn't it. All right, guys. Take care. Thanks, Kevin. All right. Thank you. Fuck, that's great. That's a good one. Wow. Girl wouldn't fucking come on. No. She's pissed. What is she, fucking 45 now? <laughs> uh, she looked like she was... Look like she mid -20s was a maybe. mid twenties. Yeah, she's over forty now. Uh, yeah, and still holding a grudge. Holds that grudge, Damn. man. Wow. What's that about? She. Uh, I'd love to know what happened with that. <laughs> how did it end? We we have it right there, and she won't say, huh? That sucks. You know how it ended. 
they kind of patched it up and said, look, we, 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 we met our obligation, and now here's your piece of shit Mustang. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Dumb radio promotions. Oh, that's how that started. Yeah. We've done a few. Yeah.